Hello, I'm Connor Graham from Eager Amoeba, and I will be showcasing a Unity plugin that I've been producing. It's called ACAT, which stands for Auto Quality Hardware Assessment Tool. Basically, it assesses your hardware, scores the potential performance, and then sets the quality upon launch. This score can be used for more than that, but that's what we desired when building this plugin. The way it does this is by analyzing hardware data, such as CPU frequency, GPU memory, memory available to the device, and it's even compatible with benchmark data from sources such as Passmark. We also have an experimental name scan, which will score the GPU or CPU based upon the version number and naming conventions, which is a good alternative when benchmark data is not available. A basic rundown of the system is as follows. We have device rating scripts, which will score the potential performance, providing both the total and mean score, which is the total score divided by the amount of components that have been taken into account. A Windows phone, particularly a low-end one, will score roughly 1.3, an iPod Touch 7th generation will score roughly 1.9, and the Samsung Galaxy S4 will score 2.4. The second part, which is the auto quality script, assigns a maximum score level for each quality setting that you can configure yourself. If the score for the device, which you can use a total of a mean score, exceeds this setting, it will move on to the next quality level. So for example, by default, we start at fastest with two, fast with four, and then it increments all the way up until fantastic in stages of two. So by using the default settings, which is to use the mean score, these two devices, because they score below two, would go with the first quality setting, fastest. Whereas this device, because it scores above two, but below four, goes at fast, the second quality setting. In order for you to set your quality levels, you are best running in debug mode, which I will now demonstrate on the Windows phone. As you can see, the debug mode lists a number of parameters up top. Top one in particular being the current quality setting, and then the two below that being the total and mean score. Then everything else underneath is details about the device and any mock variables you might have put in. I will open this up on the iPod and the Galaxy while I talk. Some features worth mentioning are that we cache all data after first run, including the score of the device and the quality setting so that we prevent excessive scripts being ran after the first run of the device. This means that startup times will only be delayed when the device is being detected and analyzed. This cache is compatible with Windows Phone and all other devices. As Windows Phone has trouble storing the player press, we've took extra care to make sure it works here and provided a file-based method for all compatible platforms. Another feature worth mentioning is that Apple devices in particular, they don't give up their processor information by default. So we've had to use the device name combined with a custom database we've built to detect the details, such as the number of cores, the processor frequency, and the processor name. This is then used in our system and is provided via static variables for your use. I hope you enjoy your purchase of ACAT and I hope this video has been useful. Goodbye and good luck with your game or app.